Happy Hanukkah. Hope you're having a great holiday season. This is Dr. Witten, and today we're going to talk about comedy, Jewish comedy. But first, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. You know, I was thinking about all the different aspects of, of Judaism, and if you look at Hollywood and famous comedians, it's dominated by Jewish comedians. Uh, Jews represent one-fifth of one percent of the world's population. But when you look at the famous comedians, it makes up a huge percentage. So I want to list off some of them. Mel Brooks, Woody Allen, Adam Sandler, Jon Stewart, the Marx Brothers, Joan Rivers. Depends how old you are if you're going to remember all these. George Burns, uh, Billy Crystal, Seth Rogen. Some of the older ones I'm not mentioning, you know, that... Uh, haven't been famous for a while. Uh, Gene Wilder, Gilda Radner from Saturday Night Live, uh, Andy Kaufman from the TV show Taxi, Ben Stiller, Bette Midler, Gary Shandling, Sasha Baron Cohen, uh, Roseanne Barr, Paul Rudd. Yeah, it just goes on and on. So what what is it about Jews and comedy? You know, the Jews, uh, like a lot of people that have had major adversity. As a culture, the Jews have endured major adversity and and prejudice and the Holocaust and um, being displaced as a people. And they've used comedy as a way to get through difficult times. And our world is in difficult times now, so I wanted to address comedy. It's, it's a great adaptive mechanism for dealing with stress. And Jews have a very special uh, flair for humor. I love going to, to my family because we're just rolling with laughter all the time. Oh, I forgot to mention myself, famous Jewish comedians. Anyways, uh, so I wanted to tell you my two favorite Jewish jokes. Now, a lot of people who don't know Jewish humor, it has its own kind of flavor. Um, it often revolves around... Um, doting mothers, mothers that are always trying to stuff you uh, with food. You're too skinny. Eat, eat enough. You're wasting away. Look at your brother. He looks so much healthier than you. You know, but brother's like 30 pounds overweight. Anyways, that's Jewish mothers. So uh, there's a guy, a Jewish man, and he uh, goes to a psychiatrist and says, Doc, you've got to help me. Every night I fall asleep, I have these dreams, and all the, all the characters in the dreams, they turn into my mother. And I wake up in a cold sweat, you know, um, anxiety, and I go downstairs and fix myself a piece of toast. And the psychiatrist says, a big boy like you, just a piece of toast? That's funny because the psychiatrist turned into his mother. Okay. So uh, some people get that, some don't. I, I hate explaining jokes, but in case you didn't get that. My all-time favorite Jewish joke is about these two guys, two Jewish guys, and they're, they're at a uh, senior living facility, and they're outside, they're sitting by the fountain, <clears throat> and uh, the nurse sees this bird fly over and poop falls on uh, one of the man's bald head. And the nurse says, Don't worry, Mrs. Mr. Simon. I'm going to go get some toilet paper. Don't worry, I'll be right back. And Mr. Simon says to his friend, What, is she crazy? By the time she gets back with the toilet paper, that bird will be miles away. Anyways, that's my favorite all-time joke. He thinks the nurse is getting the toilet paper for the bird because that's the one that pooped, right? So comedy is a great way to uh, enjoy the holidays because otherwise it's like, okay, I took a walk in the park today and I made some food and had a great bowel movement, right? Where's the comedy? Anyways, I thought I'd add that. You can tell those jokes to your friends. Hopefully you'll get some good laughs. Let me know how it goes over. Work on the delivery. You know, it's all in the delivery. So there you go. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.